I'm Robin, the Sudoku guy. Welcome to Where You Live. A special guest joins me today, Robin Jarman, known as the Sudoku Guy. That's right. And he's got quite a big following on YouTube with a lot of videos. Let's start with, I guess, where did you get your interest for these type of puzzles? Well, um, I had, after finishing teaching, I went into tour directing all over the world oh, and I spent fun. a lot of time in airports. I was introduced to it in Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't here in those days. Okay. And uh, because as I was very much involved sitting around in airports as killing a tour time, director, I guess. <laughs> killing time, I yeah. put, picked up a book of these and just had a go at it. And I thought, this is fun. Are you addicted and, right uh, away, kind of thing? Yeah, sort of yeah. basically self taught. I also took a few, looked Center at the internet and later yeah. on and got a few more clues. Right. But I found that a lot of people on the internet were um, going very fast and. A not teachers, I suppose you could say that. Okay. And I thought I'd like to put together a course that shows people how to start from scratch and as if you didn't know a thing yep. and make your way step by step to do really tough ones on, on, down the road. And so I've developed this course for free okay. and uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. Today no, I think we hit 2.2 2 2 million two. views wow. from all well, over 56 countries of the world. Because it started off uh, in... Um, in the States Here with a, a guy, two. about 74-year-old architect, mm -hmm. who uh, unfortunately died and before it really took off. Then the Japanese decided to register the name. Well, you think uh, it with a name like that. Yeah. They, they were involved somehow, yeah, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then, uh, very interestingly enough, there's a guy called Wayne Gould, uh, who was a New Zealander, a retired judge, I think, in Hong Kong, yeah. came up with algorithms that could com put together thousands of so different puzzles and yeah. print, he's already print them out. Actually, there are 5.4 trillion possibilities of yeah. these puzzles. Okay. So, uh, and does the history yeah. not go back even like thousands of years? If you're talking magic squares, not yeah. quite the same. But yeah, there were other number of puzzles several centuries yeah. ago, but the Sudoku one, this, this particular traditional Sudoku really got started. Uh, in Illinois. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at one here. Let's give one a Indiana, shot. Indiana, rather. Indiana, yeah, yes. That's let, let's take a look at here, and I will try to do this one. The Good way, luck. Yeah, this is yeah. an easy one, obviously. It's, it's a very easy one. Lots of one. numbers shown already. Uh, and a lot of people, when they first look at these, they say, oh, it's got, it's got something to do with math. Yeah, doesn't. It doesn't have anything to do with math. It's all logic. Yeah. You could use letters. Yeah. You could use little diagrams, animals, or birds, or plants. Just nine of different ones, it'd be just the same. For those unfamiliar with it, yeah. what is the object here? You need to get a number in each column, right? And now, row and yep. box, but yeah. they cannot be repeated. That's right. See, now we have nine rows. Yep. Okay, we're all the way down to the bottom. We have nine columns, and each one of them is one to nine, but not in order. Yeah. And nine blocks of nine. These are all blocks of nine, and okay. again, they're not in order. Uh, and the key f is not to, re you're right, not the key repeat. is not to repeat a Once number that, in a done. row, a column, okay. or a block. Now, can I have now the, you want, you want I to have a go, a sure, I'm sure I'll show you, you how I would do this. Yeah, <laughs> everybody has their own no way different. of starting. I've done a few of these. Now, I look at, uh, like, say, this row, yeah. and I see that it's missing um, a six and a one. Now I look over here and I see a one's there, so to me that has to be a six, and of course there's a six there, so that has to be a one. Now that's how I would do yeah. it to get started. You're brilliant. You have a different well, way, yes, and uh, it involves yeah. these letters on the side. Explain, right. explain that for us. Yeah. Just before I do that, okay. You did that very well. This this is a really easy puzzle. It is. If you were to put a one there, Duncan, if you put a one there, yeah. What? Why would not it, it did not work? Because there's a one there. You can't have two ones in that row, right. you see? So that's the, that's that's the idea. Yeah. And that's the simple rules, it's as simple as that. Yeah. Uh, this is a very easy, it gets tougher, you can get a lot yeah. of the harder puzzles. But what I did was to develop a method uh, where you can go step by step. If you're, if you're a beginner, this is very handy. Even if you're advanced, I use this system, TMB, TMB, even in the advanced puzzles. Okay. Now, T stands for the top row here, yeah. M stands for the middle row, and B stands for the bottom row of these three blocks. Right. I call these horizontal blocks. 
Similarly, these three horizontal blocks have a top row, yep. a middle row, and a bottom row. Right. Now, and similarly here. Right. Now, I usually go from one to nine. Okay. We'll start off with these three blocks, one with to one. nine. In this row, there's a one in the top right. of that block. In this row, there's a one in the middle of that row. And well, actually, and in the middle, in the middle, too. and this one is on the bottom right. row. Right. So it can't be so a one. So that's it. You don't have to do anything more. It's yeah. done. You go to two. Yeah. Here we have a two on the top row. Yeah. Here we have a two in the middle. Here uh -huh. we have a two on the bottom. It's not two. They're done. Yeah. Leave it. Great. Go to three. the next one. Three. We have a three in the bottom. We have a three in the top. But we don't have a three in here. Or on this See, row. what you're looking for when you start off with this procedure is you're looking for a number that is in two out of the three blocks. There's going to be a one block, one block that doesn't have it. And this is the block that doesn't have a three. So which now, one do we put in here? Okay. so I, I can see it already. You can see it already. Yeah. Here's three on the bottom. Yeah. Here's three on the top. It has to be in the middle. Right. And you put a little three because it can go in two places. Yeah. Now, this is the very important next step. Okay. The next step is that you take this three and you go down to see, oh, I should get rid of this one here, if that's okay. Sure. Uh, you go down the column to see if there is another three. And there is. There is. You cannot have two threes in this column. Yeah. So we can erase or eliminate or get rid of that three. And this now becomes the A three, three because that's the only place it can go. Right. Right. Now, well, let's... This is, this is important now. You know, I've even had boys and girls of five, six years of age can work this next step out. Well, there's, you it can only be block, one number, right? <laughs> there's only one left in that yeah. block. And you count up to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. And that also finished that row. Would you double check it, for example? Just oh, you can always double yeah. check. <laughs> Self-checking is so important. It's yeah. easy to make. Especially when it gets harder. When it gets harder, you yeah. betcha, yeah. Now let's go to four. Here's a four on the top. Yeah. Here's a four in the middle. Right there. There's no four in this block. Right. It has to be there or there. Right. Now comes the step, next step, as I said over here. Look down you the look rows. down the column. Right. If you look down the column, oh, yes, you saw it. You got a yeah. four there. Can't go so there. You can't go there because if you did do that, what have you done? What mistake have you made? You've duplicated it. You doubled up. You can't have two fours in uh, a row, so or a column or a block. Okay, so we put a four there. Now let's go to fives. Okay, fives. We have a five in the bottom. Yep. Five we have there. a five in the middle. We don't have a five up in this row It here. has to go there. So it has to go there because this is the block that doesn't yep. have a five. So there we go. And once five. again, we've got eight numbers in this block. Yeah. So there's only one number that can yeah, go there. See, he's catching on. <laughs> you, as soon as you, Six. Whenever you, this is a general rule that I always cover. Whenever you get a new number, always look to see if there's another number you can get. Yeah. And in this case, we put those two in, now we can finish this block. And do you always start with the easiest or obvious first? I mean, it makes sense. That, that seems to be the standard way to do it. Uh, you start with easy, if you yeah. want to learn this, you start with easy puzzles first. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Now this is a six, isn't that right? Two, three, yeah. four, five, that's a six. But is that, uh, when you say you get a puzzle, it is more difficult. You would start with the easiest, we'd think. Right. right, you do with TMB just like what same, I'm doing. Same, same. Even yeah. a very difficult puzzle. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're and right. And you don't need any preconceived knowledge, right, to no, do these. It's not like a right. crossword puzzle where you're giving hints, yeah. and it's not, and yeah. it's certainly not math. Yeah. Some people look at it and go, oh, I don't want to do that. It's yeah. math, right? Yes, it's right. Yeah. Uh, all you have to know, do, know how to do is count one to nine. Yeah. <laughs> all the rest is logic. Yeah. Now we have this row here. Yeah. You missing probably one number. that as we're missing yeah. one number, and it's a one, two. Nine. It's a nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, because we put that nine in, one this there. is missing one, and yeah. it's one, two, three, four, five. Six. It's a six. And now, we've completed all the numbers yeah. in those three blocks. 
that doesn't always happen because remember this is a really easy yeah. easy puzzle once we've finished these three blocks then we do these three blocks the same the same system okay then once we're doing then we do these three blocks and there's different uh, versions isn't there i mean there's there's killer sudoku oh killer sudoku that's is the hard one right really hard is it? yeah and generally speaking you have the the harder the puzzle the less number of numbers yeah but only generally speaking Sometimes you can okay. have a hard puzzle that's got quite a few numbers on it. Oh. It depends on the algorithm and yeah. the display on how it was put together. Yeah. There's different ways of, of designing the puzzles. For sure, I, yeah. I do different systems. Can you do letters or symbols? Or yeah, you can use yeah. letters and symbols. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be doing a show with us on Shaw TV Okanagan, yeah. Yeah. a half hour show, the Sudoku, yeah. Sudoku yeah. guy. Yeah. It's hard to say, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Tell us a little bit about what kinds of things our viewers can expect to see when you do that show. And you will start with the easier puzzles mm, yeah. first, right? Uh, it's, a, it's a segment, I think 10 segments, and each segment I will actually do a puzzle. Okay. And each puzzle that I do will show a new technique of some kind. Okay. Okay? If you go on to YouTube and put down Sudoku Guy, you've got 75 lessons lessons, tutorials, and even got one program for, 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 for the young, the children. Oh, okay. yeah. 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 Right on. Well, thanks for joining us today. It's been My a pleasure. blast and it looks yeah. like a whole lot of fun. We'll be looking forward to having you uh, as a permanent uh, uh, show. Thank you. My pleasure. And because that's a two, this becomes an eight. Wasn't that incredible? That doesn't happen very often, but just so happens that on this puzzle it did. Fantastic. We've got a lot of numbers just because we understood that two empty cells can mean a matching pair.